All right, so I got a bunch of mail in, and so I thought I'd do a fun little, um, fun little mail call, real quick. And the uh, theme of this mail call is uh, pirates, definitely pirates, and not specifically pirates, but pirate mountain. Um, if you've seen my video, you know that uh, I'm working on a rather large project, and so you can see that this is a. Uh, huge bag of dark bluish gray slopes of all different varieties. I got some of the tall pieces in here. I got some foliage in here. Um, Lego included one random white plate. I don't know why. Um, lots of ton random, some foliage. Um, there's a skelly. Uh, what else? Anything else fun in here? Um, another one of the uh, like bamboo and sand green. Um, I got these in olive green just for some different different variation. I got uh, these guys in dark and dark green. Um, I think, I guess it is dark green on like uh, maybe it's earth green. I don't know. Anyways, these stupid guys are stupid expensive. Um, so I got a couple of those. Um, really, I just needed to. I ordered you know just a bunch of this, and then I just wanted to fill out to get to the gift with purchase which was the cool uh, light-up pumpkin thing. Um, so I needed to get to, uh, what was it, 110 120 bucks. Um, so this was the, my sole order. So this is um, 120 bucks of PAB. But um, lots of fun stuff in here. Um, and this, is, this will all be, excuse me, this will all be used very quickly in the, uh, in the Pirate Mountain. Um, it's just sucking down uh slopes so um that's what this is for um a lot of it i've also never seen like the bag like crimped like this like usually it's a, like a small bag um but i've never seen a bag like crimped large like that um but anyways uh i kind of wish lego would at least sort out a little bit of like at least put like some of these smaller parts in like a different bag or something within uh, I feel like my last PAB order, uh, I did get it sorted a little bit. Um, I think it was those, it was those, uh, pearl gold coins. And I think the actual printed coins were in a separate bag. Um, so that was super cool. Um, I kind of wish this was, oh, I forgot. I got those in olive green as well. Um, but anyways, this is all for, um, that, that's a freebie too. That's a uh, trans light blue wedge or uh, cheese, I guess cheese slope technically. Um, but anyways, uh, so that was uh, mostly spurred on by the, to get another gift with purchase and to get more slopes for the um, Pirate Mountain. Um, okay, this has nothing to do with the Pirate Mountain and completely to do with my idiocracy. Idiocracy. Um, so, you know, I made that video a while ago about what all the things you need to order to do custom lighting and, you know, all that. And I had said I'd place the big order for a bunch more LEDs and stuff. And, uh, that was all great. And I got started on lighting those last couple of buildings and I ran out of the connecting cables. So this is a bunch of connecting cables for lighting, um, of all different sizes because I was basically out of pretty much all sizes. Um... So I did exactly what I told y'all not to do. Um, and the problem is, you know, it takes two weeks to get these. So I had to put that project on hold for two weeks until they came from wherever these come from, overseas somewhere. I don't know exactly where they come from. But um, anyways, so uh, I can finally get moving on that project and finally get the rest of the uh, that side of the city lit and cabled and all that good stuff. I'm very excited to get that done and kind of check that off the list so that I can move on to some other stuff, add in some details in there and, you know, get that all cleaned up and looking good so that I can shift more focus to the Pirate Mountain and the El Dorado and the um, other side of the city. I, I really need to come up with a better, like, the beach quarter of the city but it's not really just the beach, so I can't really call it the beach quarter. But anyways, you know, that whole little area just needs a lot of attention, and I haven't been able to give it attention because um, I've been wanting to finish up some of the other parts of the city. So um, lots of lighting parts. Um, all right, what's next? Oh, yeah, this was a super fun 
Uh, this is from my friend Robert on Whatnot. Um, and uh, this was from the uh, Halloween show. So that was super fun. Um, or the spooky, the, the train raid. Uh, Nun sent me a gift, a cool monkey kid fig. That's going to go great in with the city. Uh, they'll just get added into the city. I got a bunch of cool stuff. Um, Robert was doing $1 starts to get, uh, to beat my other friend, Aaron, um, to the record number of sales in one hour, uh, which Robert did handily. Um, and so he did a bunch of these figs with these cool glowing heads. And he also included the original fig head. And so I'm definitely going to be taking the glowy head off and sticking the glowy head into the pirate mountain and using the normal fig in the city. Um, another thing I thought I could use in not necessarily the wolf head, which is super cool, but this is a Fabuland pot. Uh, does it have the Fabuland logo on it? No. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a Fabuland pot. And so I thought this would be good in, um, in the, uh, in the Eldorado mock with all the other kind of kitchen stuff. Um, again, same type of thing. Um, I thought this was really cool. This is, um... The ghost dog, this is, uh, I forget what this one's from, but, uh, I thought this would just be fun to do a spooky mock someday. So I'm always kind of collecting those types of things. Um, and so he might actually just get stuck in with, um, in with the city and see if people actually notice. But I also thought about maybe sticking him in the forest with maybe some like Halloween ish type things. Um, but I would like to do a Halloween little area at some point. Um, especially if you saw Bricklink series four five brickling series five has that cool transfer trans transylvania um castle type thing that uh sleepless night did um which is super cool so you know i'm always kind of on the lookout for that type of stuff because i will eventually do something and i will also obviously pick up the nightmare before christmas because that's i'm i'm a millennial and that's just like speaks to my generation um pirate hat i mean this just screamed i needed to buy it um same with this. This just screamed I needed to buy it for, uh, you know, pirate reasons. Um, I just wanted the head. I think it was a dollar. So, um, yeah. And then another sticker for uh, celebrating two years of Robert doing auctions on whatnot. So, uh, mostly, you know, again, pirate mountain things because that's the theme. Um, all right. What else I got? Oh, yeah. Uh, again pirate mountain um i realized that whole top section so if you saw the video the whole top section is just like very loosely kind of stuck together uh because i needed more brick and so i bought a bunch more brick um mostly dark bluish gray other kind of just filler brick because it was cheap and i already had my shipping covered um i feel like this store did flat rate shipping so i think it was like five bucks and so, um, usually when a store does flat rate shipping, I usually try to fill up as much as possible. Um, these I will use definitely for the path. Um, again, foliage, I just always grab these because these are just so much fun to just kind of stick around. They're great to kind of fill along tracks and just kind of fill general space. Um, and yeah, so definitely just more brick to, uh, work out more on Pirate Mountain. Um definitely will need to make at least another order like this probably two or three more orders like this before the mountain's all done but you know that's fine it is what it is um next um my longtime friend from whatnot who bought for me when i was selling a lot uh ky vinyl but also sells as jurassic toys on whatnot uh ran a super fun show and, um, you know, again, I don't, I actually didn't own an Islander. Um, and I feel like with the amount of pirates that I have, I needed to have an Islander. Uh, so I picked this up, um, uh, to support him and also to add to the pirate stuff, because again, that's basically all I'm doing lately, um, which is totally fine. It gives me purpose and direction more so than randomly buying. And then lastly, I got a huge um we're gonna call it a care package relief package care package uh from my friend ego um he's always hooking me up with lots of stuff that i need um super good dude make sure you check him out on bricklink as he's on bricklink as waffle house house spelled the german way 
um, and Ego My Lego on whatnot. You should definitely check him out. He's always got good stuff going on. Um, he sent me just a bunch of dark bluish gray slopes and a couple other types of dark bluish gray parts, which are great. Again, Pirate Mountain. I'm, I'm going to say that 80,000 times. Um, also, just for pathways in the whole Pirate Mountain scape, I just needed more dark tan kind of plates and stuff uh, just to kind of mix in a little bit. So, Pirate Mountain. Uh, I'm going to try to use a bunch of snot techniques, and my snot brick selection was pretty limited, so I asked him to just throw me a bag of snot bricks, and uh, here's what he sent me. So, this way I got plenty of snot stuff to use to mount some bricks going sideways and kind of all different ways to kind of help that out to kind of break up some of the monotony of the pirate mountain. And then um, I needed more city figs to fill out that last little section of city. Um, and so he sent me a bag of city figs. And the cool thing about Ego is I asked him to not send me police or firemen or construction workers. Um, I don't think, uh, basically non officer people. And uh, he did really good. Let's take a quick, let's pop this open real quick. Sorry, this video is getting a little longer than I wanted it to be. But uh, there's also, I saw from just quickly looking at this, there's also some great figs for the, um, oh my God, this is one of my favorite. He definitely did not know this is one of my favorite, but this is one of my favorite figs. This is from Ninjago, I believe. And uh, it's actually named, it's, it's named Lauren. And uh, I just love this torso. I actually bought a lot, if you remember, a couple months ago, just for this torso. Um... And that was in much worse shape than this. So I'm super excited to have this, actually. I didn't see that one until I opened the bag. Um, but uh, there's definitely some fun ones for the beach. There's one for the beach. He's got a thong. He's uh, definitely going on the beach. Or a Speedo. Sorry, it's a guy. So it's a Speedo. Um, another beach guy. Awesome. And I thought I saw... Oh, yep, there's another beach. There's a beach. Uh, wow. This actually is super awesome. I can't wait to add those to the beach for sure. Uh, did I miss any beach people? Any more beach? Mm, at least nothing screams beach, right? Am I missing something for beach? Um, but anyways, so uh, that's super fun. Man, I'm super excited about this. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm very excited about that. Um, but anyways, uh, I think that's all I got in the mail. Um... And I kind of got stuff stashed a little bit everywhere. But I think that's all I got for today. Um, thanks, y'all, for watching. Um, there'll be some more city updates coming very soon. Um, as you can see, I'm just kind of collecting parts. And so it takes me a little bit until I get parts, process them, and then actually get to use them. So a um, little bit of a delay and hold up in that process. Again, I was away. We're getting back to school now that um, some of the effects of the hurricane have been mitigated. Um and so uh, that's kind of taking up a little bit of time too. But anyways, thanks y'all for watching. Make sure you like and sub like and subscribe and stay and stay and stay tuned for some more stuff. Thanks y'all.